after two, two and a half years. So, I think to be back in front of all of you all uh, with our film, The Life of Muttu. And um, it's releasing today, so I'd just like to say that please, please go and watch it in the theatres. I think a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication and love has gone into making this film. So, please watch and enjoy. So, oh, primarily because um, I got a call from Ravi Kishore sir saying, uh, I like the trailer, I like the songs, let's do the Telugu version. Otherwise, honestly, this wouldn't have been possible. And uh, uh, the film also is set, um, the, the original version is set in like an interior village in Tamil Nadu. And uh, it's, a, it's a journey of this boy, Muttu, who travels from there and works in Bombay in and amidst a very Tamil uh, setting sort of a thing. Uh, so we were a little worried about, um, you know, how to uh, sort of make it work for the Telugu version. But a lot of discussion went to, into it and uh, we got the film dubbed. Uh, it was set in a uh, space in Andhra and uh, we managed to get the dialect right and all that. But then we were not sure if, uh, you know, we should do a big release. But then when Sir called me, and he said, I love the trailer, I love the songs, let's do this Telugu version immediately. Uh, you know, things started falling in place and uh, today, uh, he took a call not to release it on the same day. He said, we'll release it one day or two days later. So that was always a call that was taken. And uh, um, I'm, I'm very happy for, uh, uh, so your support and guidance, seriously. And we've had lots of conversations before about films. We're also going to do a film with Ram, uh, you know, together very soon. So. Um, um, the whole team uh, would like to thank uh, Sir for uh, uh, his guidance and support and the way he went about putting this together. And I'm not just saying that because he's here. The film itself is a very special film for me. I, I wanted to um, narrate certain stories from my life and from the life around me for about 10, 12 years. And then I wanted to move into completely different zones. And this is the first move away from what I, I don't want to say usually make. But this is the first move away from that. And uh, I loved the whole experience. I studied the story uh, that was given to me by this very prolific writer called Jay Mohan, sir. And uh, he uh, narrated an idea to me, a short story. And from that, we made this film. Uh, there was a lot of discussion. There was a lot of studying. There was a lot of understanding these characters, places, uh, interiors of uh, you know certain places down south, and then um, Bombay itself, and this whole. So it's not a gangster film per se. It's, it's an emotional saga, if you ask me. It's like a, a journey and that there's no end to that journey with this particular film. Uh, so when we discuss the story, we realize this has to be narrated over maybe two parts. And uh, so this is the first part. And obviously, if the support is overwhelming, then we will get into the second part. And uh, I was very happy to have uh, collaborated with a few people on this uh, film. A.R. Rahman, sir, for example, who I was all set to make a love story with him. And then I just changed it around. Um, and told him, sir, this is what I want to do next. And he said, yes, let's work on the songs for this. And his music and the background score drives the film completely. It just stays a line above the scenes and sort of drives the entire film. Simbu, uh, without whom saying, yes, this film won't have been possible. Because like I said, we were all set to make a love story. We were casting for the heroine. Songs were composed. And then suddenly I went to him and said, this is what I want to do and not that film. He understood he had to play a 19-year-old and then there's a lot of transformation in the film in terms of look and everything. And he said, yes, I'll do this for you. Jay Mohan sir told me this film is meant to be done with a, with a non-star. It should be done with a new hero. We should launch a young boy with this film. I said, I will launch uh, a young Simbu again sort of with this film and he's capable of that. So uh, there was no looking back from then on. A great uh, set of technicians, Rajivan, who I always work with at the production design, um, and everything looks very real and authentic in the film, I think. Uttara uh, did the costumes, and uh, Anthony, my editor, was edited for me for over 20 years, put this film together for me. And uh, while we went about looking for the heroines, we, I think we looked at about, for the first time, about five or six girls, and uh, something was not working out, and one day somebody said, there's this girl called Siddhi. We called her down, I looked at her, and I said, get into the costumes, and we started shooting. There was no look test or anything like that. And then at the end of the day, she said, sir, am I in the film? I said, yeah, we've started shooting tomorrow. Nine o'clock, just keep coming in, that's all. So uh, that's how certain things fall in place, and I'm very happy. Um, I think she's, uh, she's done a few films, yes, but uh, 
um, it was so easy to work with her. She didn't know the language initially easily. But all the lines and the way she understood the character, um, not to be intimidated by a star like Simbu. Um, so everything fell in place with Siddhi, and I'm really happy that we managed to work together on this film. And he was looking forward to a lot more uh, Siddhi. So the film has come out well. Siddhartha, the cinematographer, understood what I wanted to do, and he put those visuals together uh, in, a, you know, in a way that I also was uh, you know, captivated by every time I saw the frame. We want to make a real, raw, gritty sort of a film, and I think that's what we made. And I'm very happy we are here today with The Life of Muthu. I really hope you like it and you'll watch it in the theatres. The banner in dubbing films to I also Unless I am very confident and I feel that it belongs to the kind of films which we make. I have done a lot of work in the Recent Raghuvaran Jason and Tarvata, a film could associate Kaledu. But Gautam and Gatha interact with Napuru and Tamatla and I saw the trailer, I was just telling him, I think it will certainly work in Telugu, why not it be brought to Telugu? And the music was amazing. So our process low, a title they bought on the, I never thought that I would be bringing it to the Telugu audience, but I, today I feel, uh, or I am really proud uh, to bring that film in Telugu. I watched Tamil version Chusan in two days back theatre low. Chhoda bhaiya practical ne influence chhata man kaadga na chala baagan na chindi. The man mirandro gora atla ke appreciate chhasa ne na mutnaan. Yes, it's all your opinions and I felt very happy watching the movie, especially last 40 minutes. So gripping. I was just at the edge of the seat and it's an honor to be associated with Gautam sir and certainly looking forward to do a project with him very soon. And uh, so Telugu audience would certainly love, love this kind of film, sir. All the best, sir. So I was just telling him that please, please bring it over to Telugu. That would certainly work. Sir, or no, Karchi apne puri bond dey. Ane kada cinema testa nirmatlang mein. Atla ko visualu idhu is no puri art nde. An namako. You see, it's a feeling you have. So there are no calculations. There are no mathematics, right? Bond. And uh, you see, it matches to the kind of feelings or kind of thoughts I have. So I think our travel will be very nice and uh, we'll be making a film to the taste of all the audience. Thank you, first of all. I think uh, Jambal Apli Bamba had happened when I was a 20-year-old girl. And um, I came from Bombay. I didn't know much about the South Indian industry. It's only after uh, I came into the Telugu film industry, I realized how much I enjoy working here and how much passion and dedication the people in the South industry put in their craft. So it's only after a certain amount of films that I started understanding uh, what works, what doesn't work. Um, it takes a certain bit of failure to um, understand success. And I'm so glad that uh, my journey has been um, with so much of ups and downs. And uh, finally, when I'm sitting here today next to him, next to Mr. Gautam Vasudev Menon, thank you, sir, uh, Shravanti Movies. So it definitely, there is a sense of validation. Uh, it feels good. It feels good to have gotten the opportunity, which I have. And I am very grateful. And here onwards, it's just going to be onwards and upwards. And it's just going to be good films, good cinema, good scripts, good directors, and yeah. What was going in the first day shoot? What was going on in the first day of the shoot? Oh my God, I can't express it in words, very honestly, because uh, I have uh, watched Gautam Sir's films. Ye um, Maya Chetave was also made in Hindi, and I think that's from that time I know of Sir. I've watched his interviews. As an aspiring actor, I always went back and kept watching his interviews because he spoke with so much intelligence about um, the craft of filmmaking. So it is not just me, every actor's dream, whether an aspiring actor or an established actor, everybody has Gautam Vasudev Menon on their dream director list. So when that happened, um, I was overwhelmed. I mean, up until today, I have to pinch myself to just believe that I am the heroine of his film. Um, actually, a very small incident I'd like to share. Um, the film's poster had come out. That time, the name was something else. And I had taken a screenshot. Uh, the, the name, the, uh, the poster read GVM, STR, and ARR. 
And I'd taken a screenshot and I told my manager, I said, it would be nice if I get to be a part of this film. And that time he told me that right now you're new, maybe, uh, you know, they might look out for an established actor. I said, no, I think this is for me. I don't know why I had some conviction in my heart. And um, when I got a call from him, uh, he didn't tell me. He just told me that Naliki uh, Uru audition Madri we have, so you have to come to Chennai. And I just asked him, is it for Gautam Vasudev Menon's film? And he's like, how the hell do you know? So it just started off from there. And when I came uh, in the morning, we had like a small uh, audition kind of a thing. And in the evening, I was doing a scene in front of Simbu sir. So it took me about two to three days just to digest the fact that I am his heroine. In fact, I called him also the next day. I said, sir, I am the heroine, right? So yeah, I'm just eternally grateful and very, very happy to have gotten this opportunity. And I just hope and pray that I've done justice to it. I think Simbu sir is a spectacular actor. Uh, and I was always an admirer. I was a Simbu admirer before. But I think after watching this film, I have definitely become a fan. Because uh, he has performed and he has he literally has breathed such beautiful life into Muttu's character. When you see the film, I don't think you will see Simbu, Simbu the hero, Simbu the star, no. You will see Muttu, a boy who's come from a village who's trying to make a life for himself. And I think that's what um, the definition of a good actor is, that he makes you forget what a star he is. And that's what he's done. He's performed so well. His body language, his, um, I think overall, he's carried the film on his shoulders. So definitely a lot to learn from him too. Sir, Gautam, there are more films, uh, sorry, uh, there are huge number of films from in different genres we have taken, delivered from your, from you. What is different from other films what you have made earlier? And what was the inspiration for this movie? So, uh, completely different from whatever I've made earlier. I mean, I, I've read reviews. Um, I don't read generally reviews, but the criticism that comes is, in my films, there are good-looking people, yes, always. Uh, they're all well-dressed in expensive cotton clothes. And then, um, uh, you know, there are voiceovers with English lines in them. And then there are um, bikes, romantic bike rides. There are guitars. There are people who travel you know, to the U.S. at the drop of a hat. And uh, so this is all Gautam Menon makes, and this is what I've read. So all that is not there in this film. So it's a very different film, that's all. Yeah. What inspired you, sir, uh, for this So film? I was all set to make a love story with Simbu. I narrated the story. Rahman, sir, we composed and recorded three songs. And uh, we were looking for a heroine for that subject. And uh, I happened to meet uh, Mr. Jamon for another film, actually. Actually, for Sir's film. We were discussing for a film with Ram, and uh, uh, in that discussion, Jay also narrated a short story to me that he had written, 15 minutes of, of a short story of a book sort of a thing. And I said, okay, so what next? So he said, I left it to the imagination of the reader. I always like to do that, he said. So I said, from this is my film. If you can, if you can take this into a zone that I want, a very low-lying sort of gangster film, uh, then I, I'll do this, I said. So then he said, I have, I know somebody who used to work in these parota kades in Bombay and it is, they're, they're part of like a, like a coolie pade sort of a thing, you know, like a, they're used for, uh, you know, criminal, small time criminal activities sort of a thing and uh, how they couldn't get out of that. So I said, that's something I'd like to explore, moments. I decided while I was listening that these should be all single shot sequences like, you know, staged without any cuts, you know, the camera should capture these emotions in real time sort of a thing. So all those visuals were in my head as he was talking to me. And uh, that was the inspiration, the, just, the, just what I heard and wanting to get into a sort of a newer kind of a film in my filmography, so to speak, yeah. It's too much. Actors, with all due respect to heroes, they have to work, you have to work scripts around their whims and fancies, so to speak. So we are all writing for heroes. We're not writing for ourselves or for the film industry per se. A hero will want certain a, a script to work around himself. You know, there should be an introduction moment, and there should be this moment, 
and I think everything boils down to how much more money they can make over the next film, with all due respect to them, which is fine also. You know, I'm also looking to make that money finally at some point. But with Simbu, it's not like that. He understands very easily what I'm trying to do. So I'm honestly telling you from an from a very different kind of a love story, but still with you know the expensive cotton shirts and bike rides and romance and all that. He moved to this over two and a half hours and said, "Let's do this. We'll keep that." We'll do that later. We'll do this now. There was no convincing. And here I was stripping him of a stardom. There was no stardom moments in the film at all for him. I, I had to strip him completely bare and tell him, you have to, you have to come in like a 19-year-old and uh, you know, you're, you're like a softy initially and then you get into this. And even the violence is very understated. You don't, it's not like you hit somebody and he flies in the air, you know. The, the, the violence that I've shown that happens around him is somebody is cleaning blood off their hands. Straight away that connect is there. Like even when we went and where we filmed, that particular house, somebody had moved from there to a bigger city and then they were struggling there and all that. So, so that, see that understanding was there. We found that it's not going to take long to convince the audience that this is what is happening these days. And we have a nice explanation as to why almost a whole bunch of people from a certain village or small town moved to Bombay and what happened and why they had to resort to violence to keep the sort of, uh, you know, loan sharks and other predator kind of people away. And then that violence led them to being called to inflict that on other people and stuff, you know. So I, I think it was a very um, uh, deep understanding of what happens. And Jay Mohan sir is a master at, at something like this. So there was a lot of discussion between him and me, just understanding. I would just ask him to talk, tell me more, uh, what are these people like? What are these places like? And then we went and shot a few places and sent references to him and a, certain, a few other people, you know, so there was a lot of work that went in. Here and there, I'm hoping a lot of people will get it, and I'm sure some people won't, but that's the whole uh, beauty of this, uh, this craft, right? I mean, this, uh, this profession that we are in. It's to experiment as much as possible, as long as producers are happy and throw it out there, and then take the feedback. And if it's good, it only inspires you to move on. If it's bad, I was just talking to Radhika Shosa, and he said, when a couple of films didn't work for me, I didn't come out for one month, he said, from my house, you know? We go through that. We go through that. We wonder what went wrong. But then it's not going to, you know, completely pull us down. You know, he's still sitting here and I will also sit here very soon. Yeah, so. Gautam Sar Chipna too. Anta nammi cheyyali ok hero. Akhatani. So, Indro hero is amundadu. Is this what I want to do? It's any hero's call. So, I'm not here to say that please do this. It will work and all that. It's one's intuition. And I forgot to tell one thing about... Uh, the love story he wove into this, I really loved it, sir. It was wonderful, amazing, uh, Siddhi. I really loved that part, sir. And uh, VRR, sir, he gave amazing music.